Google Glasses, they may have come and gone with a bit of a chuckle and an eye roll after their debut in 2013, but recently it seems like they may have found their happy place. And it's not in the streets, it's in factory settings. We have a partnership with Google. They're coming in, they're co-developing with us. They're called, it's called augmented reality. And it's something our executives at our NGHSE Summit told us could potentially help them keep the workplace safe. They videotape the entire, all the equipment. You actually see within your glasses things that pop up, like lockout tagout points, or different safety concerns, or where machine guarding is supposed to be, or where locks are supposed to be put on equipment. Um, and, and as you walk around the equipment, the actual picture of where it is changes within your glasses, so it's, it's kind of like real time. But Aaron Duff at Johnson & Johnson says they're piloting the smart glasses not only because they're a great way to look up safety information in real time, but also because they address a growing problem in the HSE market. Smart glasses are a tool that the millennial workforce would be comfortable using. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, younger people seem to be interested in it. They seem to be like, hey, they want to try it out. Of course, though, with any new technologies come potential hazards, even when those new tech innovations are meant to be a safety feature. Some of it's kind of unknown as yeah. it relates to the impact on the safety of the work environment. Yeah. So we want to make things easy. We want to make them interactive. But now the question sometimes becomes, is it becoming a distraction from their focus on tasks? If I'm going to be looking at Google Glasses through documents in my glasses, is, is that going to distract me from what I'm you know, sticking my hand in a machine because I'm trying to read the procedure properly, right? So a lot of that stuff is kind of unknown. And I think it's going to take a little bit of time for us to kind of feel our way as an industry as as to what are those impacts as we start to integrate those things and those different tools into the work environment.